I started this project back in 2020 when I met Mariana. I just started my new role here at Woken and Fast Station as a watch manager on Blue Watch. And I've taken over from uh, a guy called Sheffy, who uh, used to fill up all the carboys and bits at uh, the cockpit gardens. We don't like our water sitting stagnant in the fire engine, so we have to replenish it. So we purge the water. Rather than tipping it down a drain, we're helping gardeners with their gardens. We got talking, I um, said I'd like to do a garden, and then I've had so much help and assistance because I'm quite a novice in terms of gardening. The design was put together by Jane and we've tweaked it here and there. Um, we haven't got too precious. I've had, it's quite amusing as, as it's sort of progressed the garden, I've then had firefighters and members of staff here come with their own suggestions. Um, this fire bucket, for example, um, wasn't necessarily the original design, but is now. She got me in contact with Manshed, who uh, have built these lovely planters for us. And then it just sort of started snowballing. And through Mariana and Wokenham in Bloom, I've met Jane and Susanna and various other people who have all sort of lent a hand. And it's become a real sort of community push. I've really enjoyed it. So this garden is particularly important to me and to all my colleagues here at Wokenham Fire Station, uh, because I feel it offers us a sort of a, an area where we can sort of relax. And it's mental well-being, if you like. Um, with the nature of the job we do, sometimes it's nice to have somewhere where we can come and relax. It's also very important that we've got a mixture of pollinators but also produce and we're trying to push a healthy living agenda. But we will have to pass fitness tests every six months for a start um, and um, yeah, so healthy eating is fantastic. We have some very keen chefs on station. Any spare produce we're going to be passing on to sort of local food banks and places so again we're supporting the local community which is partly what this is all about. A big theme that was important to us here when we did this garden or started building it was recycling, reduce and reuse and so in that aspect we have scavenged everywhere so other than the kind donations in terms of planters the ones we've built have been made out of old lockers, pallet woods, I've had builders donating scaffold boards, um, this set of ladders behind me, for example, has come out of somebody's garden. We made a lovely frame for it, which we've now grown runner beans up. Everything in here, with the exception of a few screws and fixings, um, has been donated, some of it from companies. In total, I suspect the entire garden that you're looking at is going to come to around about 150 to 200 pounds, which I think is absolutely fantastic. We're well on course for judging on 7th of July. So yeah, fantastic. Really, really been good.